What's going on guys, Coach Malik here, and in this video we are going over the full workout of my pull day. So you guys have been wanting more of my workouts, wanting to see more of my workouts. I did an Instagram poll the other day, if you're not following me over there, at Coach Malik. If you guys wanted to see more of my workouts, and a lot of you um, said yes, so I am going to film a little bit more of my workouts and show you guys a little bit more in-depth kind of uh, voiceover right now of why I'm doing it and what I'm doing. So usually before anything, um, first off, I want to start off by saying thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and push, put on a post notification so that you know every time I post a new video. I'm ramping up my YouTube here uh, in the second half of 2021, so excited to get the new videos out for you. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Back to the video, uh, first thing I do, first five, 10 minutes I warm up. Um, didn't used to do this as much when I was younger. As I get older, I tend to warm up a lot more. Is it my, you know, my age? Is it me just having getting a little tighter as I'm doing different things during my day? You know, when you're younger, you're always moving around. Whereas when you're older, you're sitting a little bit more at the office. You're on the computer a little bit more. So I'm always kind of wondering that. But I warm up first with the foam roller. Usually roll out my back. And then I roll out my um, calves. And then sometimes I roll out something else. My lats is another one, which is also my back. Um, but usually I do three to four. I don't usually warm up the whole or foam roll the whole body before my workout. I usually pick three muscles that are tight that probably need an extra little bit warming up to do. So today I just chose my back, my lats, and my calves. And foam rolling is great, you know, as a pre warm up. Whereas after your workout, maybe for a cool down, you'd want to do more stretching, more static stretches and holds. So that's why I do foam rolling before my workout. Now, I didn't film my whole workout. I started with pull-ups and lat raises with dumbbells. I did not film those sets. I did four sets there of pull-ups, 10 pull-ups, and uh, 15 lateral raises for four sets. After the pull-ups, I then came to the barbell and started doing overhead press. Um, it was kind of like a push-pull day. Again, if you guys know me and have been following my workouts for a little bit, lately I haven't been doing just splits like back by or chest try. I've really been kind of doing full body. And so after the pull-ups and the lateral raises, it is a pull day, but I decided to get a little bit of push in and came over here and did the barbell overhead press for 10 reps. So I'm not going super heavy. I'm not doing five reps. I'm just going 10. I think on the first set, I did 15. Um, this is the second set. Uh, and then I go ahead and do straight to it, uh, bent over rows. So I'm already kind of exhausting my shoulders. Again, it is really a pull day. And I wanted to make this bent over barbell row a little bit harder. So I did the presses first, 10 reps, and then I went straight into the barbell rows. I did three sets there of 10 reps of the presses and 10 reps with the rows. After that, I went straight to the pull hamstrings. Um, so I went to do hamstring curls at our gym, Fitness SF in uh, Corte Madera. They have this cool um, single hamstring curl that I like to use. Kind of isolates that curl, that, that hamstring when you're curling. So I do this for five today. It's not a leg day, so we're not going high in volume. But I did five reps each just to keep those legs nice and active uh, during the off day of legs. After that, we're going to go on to the TRX. So I ended this workout with a lot of body weight stuff. Um, with the TRX, I want to, again, work in those pull muscles, those rear delts. So I go on the TRX to do high rows. So these are basically focusing on those rear delts, focusing on the back of the shoulder. And I do about 10 reps of these. And then the first I did 12. And this is all control. So I'm not swaying my body. You can see my body stays still the whole time. And I'm really trying to perfect the, uh, the form here because that's what it's about, especially when you're doing body weight, especially when you're on the TRX. You know, you don't need to sway. Right after that, I go to... Uh, tricep extensions or skull crushers on the T-Rex. And this one's good for the triceps. Again, I want to get a little pull with a little push. Um, just get a little bit of each. And uh, this one I did three sets, 10 reps as well. And this was more of a, you know, I didn't challenge myself as much as the pulls because it is a pull day, not a push day. So on this one, I was just kind of activating the triceps. Um, again, keeping my back straight, keeping my body straight by keeping my tummy tight, keeping that core engaged. Afterwards, I do a core circuit. Now, one of my favorite core circuits, uh, I did post on my Instagram before. This is it. Um, you can find it again if you follow me there, at Coach Malik. But this is uh, the ab rollout. I do about 10 reps here. 
Now on this one, I will um, actually say that if you can't go all the way down like that, just go to the point where you feel a, a flex in your tummy. Like when you sneeze and you feel your tummy tense up, that's all you need to go as far. You don't have to go all the way down like this that I'm going here. You'll eventually get there. But go, you might even go half as far as me or you know a quarter and still get just the same amount of work in. Um, so as soon as you feel that stomach flex on those rollouts, that's when you're going to want to stop and then come back. So bring those hips with you as the roller goes out. Bring those hips with you and then come on back. The second core exercise I do is what I call the med ball suitcase sit-up. Um, or, or Sorry, excuse me, waiter sit-up. So the waiter sit-up, med ball waiter sit-up, is basically where you're holding one med ball up in the air, just like a waiter, how they were hold, how they would hold, you know, glasses or something. A waiter sit up, and then I'm going to do a sit up, holding that med ball above my head the whole time. So what this does is it engages a little bit more of that certain side because you're using weight, you're using more resistance, and it ba- you have balance that you have to use because you're holding on one hand. Both of those use your core, so that's a, one of my favorite core exercises. And then I go straight into Russian twists where I'm going side to side, squeezing the sides of my tummy, my obliques, 10 reps total, or 10 reps each, um, 20 reps total, and this is just to kind of finish it off. You know, we did the ab rollers, which was getting kind of like the, the middle of it. And then we got the weighted sit-ups, where it was kind of the top. And then the Russian twist, which are the sides. So that's my full workout, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, subscribe if you want to see more of my workouts in the future. I'll do more voiceovers and try to get a little bit more creative on this channel. I really appreciate those who keep on watching and keep staying tuned into the channel. And again, guys, remember, be certain in yourself and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. I'll see you guys next video.